Being a content creator definitely takes some finesse, but it'll be easier when you know a couple tips or tricks. Here are a couple of my tips and tricks for beginner content creators. <laughs> First tip is what I feel like is my most important and that's to make sure you're in a good mental space. Being a content creator definitely takes a toll on your mental and definitely takes a strong mentality. There are so many negative people on the internet and you never know when or if they'll decide to come at you and how that will affect you. I know y'all see a lot of YouTubers. They either take really long breaks or just quit YouTube altogether because people on the internet can be really, really harsh. So your mentality definitely plays a really important role. Another reason it plays an important role is because if you don't have the mentality that you want to work towards this and you want to grow as a content creator, then you're not going to work towards it. It's all about mentality. I know when I first started, I did not have that mentality. I took a month break because I wasn't in that mentality and then I came back. And I started being consistent because I have the mentality that I really want this. I'm going to work towards this and nothing is going to stop me from getting this. Next thing we're going to talk about is tools. And I also see a lot of YouTubers have cameras like the Sony ZV-1 and the Canon G7X. I know y'all can see I have a camera. But having a camera isn't that important. Having a camera isn't that important. I have my camera. I've had my camera for like six months now. But I still use my phone to this day. My last video was recorded completely off of my phone so a camera definitely isn't needed and if I didn't get a camera for Christmas I probably still would be using my phone all the time a camera is not needed everything you could do on a camera you could do off of your phone you can even tweak the quality of your phone camera by going to your settings and changing a couple things up I know I recorded a video off my phone and everybody was asking me what camera I had because the quality was that good but it was just my phone I'll insert the video well, yeah, you definitely don't need a camera. Another important tool is your editing platform that you use to edit your videos. To edit my videos, I use CapCut. I've tried so, so, so many editing apps. I've bought editing apps and deleted them because it just wasn't for me. But CapCut is what works for me. You'll just have to try stuff out. But I feel like CapCut is the easiest for beginners. It has everything you'll need. Everything you'll need, the text, you can animate, you can add overlays, you can add green screens, you can add music. It has everything. So CapCut is definitely, definitely, definitely really good for beginners. Another important tool is what you use to edit your thumbnails. To edit my thumbnails, I use Canva. I know you see a lot of people using Fonto and the Eraser app and other things like that, but you really don't need it. You really don't need it. Like coming from my perspective, you don't need it. I downloaded it and I never used it because CapCut and Canva, they together they have everything I need. Like together they're the elite duo and they're going to be your best friends as a beginner content creator. They both have everything you'll need everything like you could erase the backgrounds everything you need is on CapCut and Canva. the last tool you need as a beginner is a tripod it really just depends on what type of content you want to make you'll either need a tall tripod or you'll need a desk tripod you could probably even use a phone stand if you're going to be doing sit down videos like what i'm doing right now like if you're going to be a makeup um creator you're really just going to need like a phone stand or a desk tripod. Only way you'll need other stuff is if you get a camera. Then you'll need an SD card and an SD card reader. I've seen people using like a hard drive, but I haven't, I haven't had to use a hard drive. So I can't tell y'all what's tea on that. But I don't use my computer to edit either. I use my phone and my iPad. The next thing we're going to talk about is thumbnails and titles. Your thumbnails and your titles are really important because they're what catches your viewers' attention. If I'm on YouTube and I'm struggling and I'm struggling and I see a really messy thumbnail or a title that's confusing me, 9 times out of 10, I'm not going to press on that video because I'm confused and I don't know what's going on. You don't need to have a really extravagant, super extra thumbnail. It could really be like one or two pictures and a title in the middle. It could be anything, but just make it eye-catching your title is also just important as your thumbnail because that's how people are going to find your video if your video doesn't come up on the explore page or the home page your title and your tags that's how people are going to find your videos like if you go to my account you will see if i do like a weekly blog on the side i'll put what's going to be in the video like new hair decluttering like stuff like that like i use keywords use your keywords and then like tags like if i post a hair tiktok i'll do hashtag wig hashtag hairstyle like stuff like that use your tags use your titles i catch in thumbnails super important 
Another important thing that I know y'all hear all the time from literally every, every, every YouTuber that's giving y'all tips is to be consistent. You're probably tired of it because when I was watching videos trying to learn, I kept hearing be consistent, be consistent, be consistent. I was like, okay, I get it, but don't shoot me because it's really important. It really is. Being consistent is really important because the more people see your face and the more they watch your content and they like it, they'll start looking for you. Once I started being consistent, I noticed like people would DM me on Instagram. They're like, when's the next video, girl? When is the next video? Like, come on, chop, chop. So consistency is really important. Consistency is also how you're going to get your interactions up. Before I started being consistent, I was getting like five likes on my YouTube and like I had like three watch hours total. But now I have 80 watch hours total and I'm getting like 20 likes a video. Like, B consistent it's the same thing with instagram once i started being consistent on instagram my interactions went up like five thousand. be consistent i'm not gonna tell again be consistent to kind of go along with consistency and posting nobody is going to promote you better than you can promote yourself nobody's gonna promote you better than you can promote yourself when i first started i never used to post my own videos i never used to like share my videos on instagram and tiktok i used to have demaya which is my friend, I used to have her posted on her story like, oh yeah, go watch my friend's video. And that definitely did help because that kind of jump started me. But it's like nobody knows your niche or your target audience better than you. She could post the video like, oh yeah, go watch another video. But I could post my video like, go watch my new vlog. I did a new hairstyle. I showed y'all how to install a wig. Like I could really get into detail with it. And that's how I'm going to get my target audience. Promoting yourself is also really, really important because that's how people are going to find you. Like, people might like your Instagram, so they'll come to your Instagram account and they'll see on your story, oh, you posted that you vlog, and now they want to go watch that. Like, once I started posting my YouTube, people would slide up like, oh, I didn't know you had a YouTube. I'm going to go watch. I'm going to go support. And that's how I met some of my content creator friends, which goes along with my next tip, which is to do collabs i keep smacking my hands together i don't know why i'm just in that mood but do collabs i want to say doing collabs is number one like omg it's so important if you don't collab you're not getting anywhere but doing collabs definitely does help like i collab with demaya sheila tamia doing collabs does help because it's not only helping you get yourself out there it's getting them out there too when people see you on other people's pages and they think oh she's pretty or oh i like her personality they're gonna go to your page and then they're gonna start watching you so you're getting more engagement and you're helping them get more engagement and then you could do more collaborations and more people are going to want to collab with you like it's just an easy way to get yourself out there more my next tip is to utilize social media tools when instagram sees you're using reels and other social media platforms see you're using their new stuff they push your stuff out because it's helping um it's benefiting them in some type of way i can't remember how right now i just started using reels i want to say three weeks ago and since i've been using reels my interaction went from mostly being my followers to mostly being people that have never seen my account before and like my interactions have been going up so utilize those tools utilize those tools same way you're going to use your hashtags you're going to use your new tools i think this is my last tip so my last tip is to communicate with your supporters communicating with your supporters is really important because when i see content creators like ignoring their supporters i get to thinking oh they're really hollywood they're really full of themselves like what's with that like i really don't like it and i don't think other people like it either communicate with your supporters like i commun communicating with my supporters is how i meet some of my friends now like communicate with them don't communicate with them and give them like dry half answers like communicate with them and make it genuine like when i communicate with my supporters or other people or my mutuals like it's genuine like i'm not just going to say something just to say it be genuine with it another reason communication is important it kind of goes with consistency because if you post i want to say like if you post every tuesday but for some reason your vlog is not going to come out until the next day communicate that like post on your story like the vlog is going to be late it's not coming out until tomorrow or the vlog is coming early it's going to come out monday like stuff like that communicate with them get to know them like show them your personality communicate that's all the tips i have for right now because i'm not gonna lie i'm really half sleep it's like 12 o'clock in the morning i just wanted to get you all this video because i'm late on posting and i did not communicate that communicate that's all for this video i love y'all very much and i will see y'all in the next one